In the previous video, we have seen how to derive RFICTT as part of ADSL programming. In this video, we will see how to derive RANDDT, which is date of randomization. And we will see the derivation logic that is given to us in the specification. And it says using DS dataset, which means SDTM DS dataset, get rand dt as the numeric of date part of ds st dtc on the record where ds cat is equal to protocol milestone and ds decode is equal to randomized so we have been given the required input data set required filter condition and required variable and also the additional transformations that have to be applied on the input variable so let us try to manually figure out what the RANDDT will be for each of the subjects in the example data we have. So we have seen in the earlier example that we have three records, uh, that is three subjects in our demographics data. And now let us see the disposition data and try to identify the randomization date manually first. So we had some filters applied from the previous video. So I am removing all of them. So here the filter condition is DS cat is equal to protocol milestone and DS decode is equal to randomized. So let us filter for DS cat is equal to protocol milestone first and then filter for DS decode is equal to randomized. So we have two records of subjects 1002 and 1003. So there were three subjects in DM, 1001, 1002 and 1003. But in this data set, after applying the filter condition specified, we only have two records, which means that only two subjects are randomized and the first subject, which was 1001, is not randomized. So for these two subjects, we'll have to get the date component of this DSST DTC variable and convert it into numeric. Let's assume that we are doing that and then pull this information from this and then try to fill in this form. So we didn't have data for 1001 subjects, so we will have that as blank. So only two subjects are randomized and their randomization dates are 7th December 2011 and 4th October 2011. So this is how we manually can identify the randomization date based on the specification provided. Now let us take a look at the programming approach that can be taken. Similar to the previous RFICDT derivation, we are using HDTM DS dataset as input and then filtering the required records. After filtering the records, we are extracting the date component from DSST DTC variable. We have seen in the raw data that in the input data that only date was present, but as per the specification, we are supposed to extract the date portion and convert it into numeric. So uh, we will have to program as per the specification because in, uh, in the future transfers or future uh, data scenarios, we may have both date and time uh, coming in the DSST DTC variable. So for that reason, we are following the specification and extracting the first n characters. So DSST DTC is an ISO 8601 uh, date, date time variable in SDTM. So we'll have both date and time components present in it. The first 10 characters would correspond to the date and uh, from 12th character time would be present. So here using sub STRN, we are extracting the first 10 characters and then using input function to convert that date into numeric format. So by default, SAS stores all the numeric dates as number of days from 1st Jan 1960. So if we do not apply any format to this newly created randity variable, it would appear as the number of days from 1st Jan 1960 to the date the subject randomized to. But again, that is not easily readable uh, for us as humans. So we generally apply a format and here we are applying a date nine format for it. And as we only need subject and the required randomization date, we are only keeping those two variables. And again, as seen in the last video, we can employ some merging logic to pull the randomization date from this data set 
into our demographic data set or this can be say for example if we have previously derived our RFIC DT so we can merge RAND DT to that data set so that it will have both the ICDT and also the randomization date so otherwise we can take a simple approach that we can just derive all the required individual date components and other variables and do a single merge with all the data sets present here to the DM data set as base data set. So here in this example, we are assuming that we are standalone deriving RANDT in a standalone manner and combining it to our demographics data set. So let us try to run this code and then see the individual data sets. So here if we see randomization date So we have our ADSL, let me minimize this. Uh, sorry, there was a small issue in the code. I had corrected it earlier. Uh, the data is equal to DM was also being sorted and output it to uh, the data set named as RANDT. So I have fixed that. So. When I run this piece of code, so let us open the final ADSL01 data set. We see that for subject 1001, as there was no record in randomization or DS data set with the filter condition provided for randomization date. So we have it as blank, and for the other two subjects, the date is populated. So this is how we can derive randomization date in ADSL.